the next question and this question was asked on 9th of January in the shift 1 chemistry question paper and this question is from chemical kinetics and we all know chemical kinetics is a very very important chapter. Now the question says the rate of reaction in absence of catalyst at 700 Kelvin is same as in the presence of catalyst at 500 Kelvin. If catalyst decreases activation energy by 30 kJ per mole, determine the activation energy in presence of catalyst. Now, we all know that in presence of catalyst, the rate of a reaction is increased. Now, the question is why it is increased. It is increased because the catalyst brings down the activation energy. And in the question, it has been mentioned that the activation energy has decreased by 30 kJ per mole. Now still, after using the catalyst, the rate constant is remaining the same. Why? Because we are also lowering down the temperature. So the effect of catalyst is being compensated by the decrease in temperature. To solve this question, we have to obviously take help of Arrhenius equation which says rate constant is equal to Arrhenius factor multiplied by E ka power minus A divide Ea divided by Rt. Now, K is the rate constant in absence of catalyst, Ea is the activation energy in absence of catalyst, T1 is the temperature 700 Kelvin. On the other hand, Kc is the rate constant in presence of catalyst. Again, Eac is the activation energy in presence of catalyst and T2 is 500 Kelvin. Since in the question it has been given, the, both, the rate, both the rate constants are same, so we will equate K with Kc. And we'll get this a e raised to power minus ea by rt1 is equal to a e raised to power minus eac divided by rt2 that will give us ea by t1 is equal to eac by t2 that will give us ea by eac is equal to t1 by t2 t1 we all know is 700 kelvin and t2 is 500 kelvin so ea divided by eac is equal to 7 upon 5 this gives us equation number 1 Equation number 2 is given in the question itself that a decrease in activation energy is 30 kJ per mole. So, Ea minus Eac is equal to 30 kJ per mole. On solving these two equations, we can solve the two variables that is Ea and Eac. And we all know that Eac will be less than Ea. So, if Ea comes out to be 105 kJ per mole, Eac will be 30 kJ per mole less than Ea that is 75 kJ per mole. If we see, the right option becomes option number 1 that is 75 kJ per mole. Thank you.